Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Hi, birthday, sweet love It's your birthday It's your birthday, you won This is the final result. It's not great, but I think it's gonna work though for first birthday organic smash cake. <laughs> oh man, I just didn't wanna buy one of the store-bought ones because, well, first of all, they're expensive, but second of all, this one's only for him. This will be the first time he's had sugar or gluten. <laughs> so I figured at least let's try and do it a little bit organic. Okay, so I'm going to take the cake that I baked yesterday, and this is just basic white cake, and I'm going to crumble it. You could do it by hand, but I'm gonna do it in this today to minimize germs, because we've had a sick kiddo in our house. Okay, so now you're gonna take your icing, and you only need about one to two scoops. So I'm gonna probably start with, you can add more, but you can't take away. That's always my philosophy. You can see it's like actually starting to squish together now. I got this lovely little doodad from Amazon. I don't remember the brand. Oh, it's OXO. I can try and find the size, um, but basically I do two level scoops in my hand and then I roll it. So if you use something like this, it comes out easily, but you also know that they're all gonna be the same size. So you don't end up with like different sized looking cake pops, if that makes sense. So hopefully the consistency is right. So basically I have two scoops in my hand and now I'm going to roll it. I actually probably do mine a little bit more moist than you're supposed to do, but that's because honestly, like I do not have the patience to try and roll these four times and they fall completely apart if they're too bready. So that's still good. Do you see how like they're still cracking a little bit because of the breading? Like that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. This is wax paper, but you could also use parchment paper. <laughs> Okay, so now that these are done, I'm going to pop them in the freezer for just a few minutes to get them cold. And then while they're in the freezer, I'm gonna be heating up some chocolate. So I'll show you guys that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is fill this with a, just a little bit of water. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that to a boil. And then once that's brought to a boil, I'll put this on top, put it on low. And then I'm going to put, so these are vanilla, oh, they changed the name, that's funny. It used to be called chocolate melts. Um, but this is vanilla candy coating. So it's similar to white chocolate, but it can stay at room temp. So you can even see they have like pictures of cake pops on here. So this is what they use when you buy like the store ones, because if you use regular chocolate, if there's any heat or anything, they will start to melt. So these make it to where they can sit out at room temperature. So I'm actually only gonna heat up right now like one or two squares because there's something we're gonna do with the sticks to get them to stay in the cake pop so that way the cake pop doesn't actually slide off the stick. So I'll show you guys the trick. So I get these on Amazon. These are like $3 and they are plastic cake pop sticks and they're technically reusable, which is kind of cool. It's 100 for $3, so a really good deal. And as you can see, these are on the shorter side, so they're perfect for a cake pop and they don't bend or get messed up. So right now I am melting this chocolate. I'm putting this on low. I'm gonna take a stick, I'm gonna dip it into the chocolate and then I'm gonna put it into the cake pop and it will harden almost immediately and I am gonna stick it back in the freezer for just a couple more minutes to get it nice and solid. And then after it's been in for just a couple minutes, we'll take them back out and dip the whole thing. So that's what we're gonna do first. But essentially what you're gonna do, take this, I'm gonna swirl it around. So you see how I have about that much chocolate. And now, oops, I'm gonna stick it about halfway into the cake pop like that. So we're gonna keep repeating. So I have these done and I'm gonna pop these back into the freezer. I'm gonna start melting some more chocolate. Okay, so the chocolate is almost there. 
but once I dip them, you have the option then to put on sprinkles. The problem is you have to do it right away and it is a little bit messy because that is when the chocolate is still sticky and it hardens very fast because it's candy melts and it's not chocolate. One trick that I have found is I will dip it and quickly take it and I have little mason jars. I have these in the fridge and I'm going to quickly dip, swirl, put a little bit of sprinkles and then I'm gonna put it in the jar in the fridge and it helps the chocolate set really, really fast. That way the chocolate doesn't run down the stick. So that is the trick that I have found to keep the runs from happening. So I just pulled out the cake pops. I have the chocolate right here. It's nice and melted. And I'm gonna be pretty quick. The one drawback about this method is it does give them a little bit of a flat top, but it makes it to where this does not come off. It is like cemented in. So you're gonna take the cake pop. A lot of times I just swirl it and then coat, you tap. And this only works if you've actually taken the time to freeze the stick on because it holds it on tight. Okay, so once I finish, I'm gonna take these. Oops, I gotta go pretty fast. That one had a little drip, but that's okay. I was trying to move a little fast and I should have let it drip a little bit more. Okay. So, cover it completely and then tap. For the sprinkles, what I like to do, so I just dipped it, so I gotta go fast. But I concentrate it at the top. I kind of go in a circle and let them kind of like fall down the sides a little bit. So I do kind of like a little bit on top and then kind of concentrate it right there. Yes, they do bounce everywhere. So I kind of like that look. So it's kind of like heavy on the top and kind of sprinkles down the bottom. I find it's too hard to cover it completely and this goes really, really fast, which I like. I just pulled these out of the fridge so you can see they're nice and hard and they can actually stay at room temperature. So these do not need to go back into the fridge. So this is the final product. So they look pretty good. A couple got messed up, but honestly, I feel like they turned out pretty well. Birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yeah! Happy birthday, Ray Ray! Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Searching for my heart 